First, I would like to quickly talk about how voxels are rendered. Voxels are 3D pixels that contain some data. The voxel farm engine allows you to manipulate their shape and materials. And what you see on screen is the result of the contouring process that occurs when you build or create a landscape. Voxels have a volumetric shape, but they are rendered as a mesh, which is basically only a surface created by points in the 3D space. These surface planes are called polygons, which represent the most common method at this time to render 3D objects. The engine divides the 3D space in large cubes called cells and creates automatic LODs or levels of detail. The cells that are far away would have less and less resolution and polygons when the contouring mesh is created because there are limits of the number of polygons that a computer can render. You can see the contouring mesh with the L key. And you can also visualize the different LODs, the cells and the occlusion with F7, F8 and F9 keys. The render tab basically controls the rendering below and the camera. Refresh will activate or refresh the 3D view. For instance, you change a material property. Click the refresh button to see the changes. Stop will just end the rendering process. Camera allows you to change the field of view and the speed sensitivity. Note that the camera is always scanning what's around you, so its speed constantly adapts when you move and zoom in and out. Maintain right click to slide horizontally, maintain left click to rotate and mouse wheel to move forward and backward. Note that you can slow down the camera movement by maintaining shift. This allows you to be very precise and with control you can speed up the movement to quickly move across the scene. Eye height is reducing the space between the camera and the ground. This comes very handy when you simulate a first person camera and want to change the impression of scale. The walk button will give to the camera some gravity and you can walk and jump on your geometry by using the directional keys and spacebar. Fly will end the walking and falling this is the default state of the camera. Ground allows you to quickly find the terrain surface. Fine land will make your camera go to the closest emerged terrain, useful when you made a continent, and your position is far away in the ocean or the sky. The add pin button saves your camera coordinates and add a new item for this location. You can go back to this specific location by selecting this item and click the go to pin button. Resolution is mostly controlling the level of detail when voxels are rendered. LOD0 controls the first and the most refined level of detail radius, the one that surrounds your scene focus, which is the camera in Voxel Studio. 
default LOD determines which LOD is the LOD 0. You can jump to LOD 1 or 2 to gain a lot of performance. However, I really don't recommend to do that for building because you will actually build as if you were far away from the camera. So the small details will not be accurate because very simplified. Scene resolution is for the far LODs. It increases resolution past the LOD 5. This can be useful to improve elements like mountains on the background. Voxel anti-aliasing is a special feature that isolates specific materials and gives them more resolution than others when they appear on screen. This slider controls the overall effect. We will see more of that in the material video. Simplification sliders control the contouring mesh complexity. These work in combination with the mesh optimization parameter in your material. I recommend to let this value by default. Change up the simplification slider to 50% and simplification LOD to 100%. This will allow the textures to blend properly with one another and also for you to gain performance. These are just for rendering your scene. In Unreal and Unity you can control those resolution parameters as well to improve performance or quality. These buttons control the sun position. That comes very handy for the building process. Finally, the rendering button opens the rendering tab of the settings window. Here you can activate or deactivate different options like shadows, fog, the parallax effects and the blending between materials. For building, I recommend to keep all this checked and to tweak the lighting here on the lower boxes to give your scene the right balance of color and brightness.